Welcome to Entertainment Highlights on Breakfast Daily. My name is Kwame Dazi. Ghanaian music producer Ayo Sunboy is in dire need of help. The music producer, who has been ill for some time now, is soliciting financial support through a GoFundMe account created by comedian David Oscar to cater for his dialysis. They are raising an amount of 92,000 Ghana cities for the treatment. He was diagnosed of a kidney problem and has since been confined to a spot going through three sessions of dialysis per week. Without sufficient financial assistance, his costs for dialysis alone are starting to mount and he may stand little to no chance at survival. The targeted amount is the cost of dialysis for a period of 12 months. Speaking to City News, his wife Aisha Yusuf said a young son boy started feeling unwell six months ago but was diagnosed with kidney failure two months ago. She therefore requested that people come to their aid. A young son boy is popularly known for the song Seke by Dr. Slim featuring Double. Musicologist Dr. Alfred Patrick Adakwe has reignited an issue Shatawale raised in his State of the Industry address a few months ago. Shata in his address mentioned how confused he was while in the US he was asked the kind of music Ghanaians do. He was lambasted for even raising the issue because people thought it was so evident that high life is the only music genre that is originally Ghanaian. But Dr. Adakwe has a different opinion. He thinks it is the very indigenous Ghanaian music forms like Bobobo, Adua, Kiti, Palongo and the rest that define Ghanaians. Since he made the statement, some have reacted by saying the music forms he mentioned do not represent the entire country, that they are music forms for particular groups of people in Ghana. There are others who also think his assertion makes sense because high life in itself has so much foreign influences. So, what music genre represents Ghana? Let the argument continue. Pat Thomas's 1976 hit single, I Can Say, makes it to Marvel's Lucky Season 1 finale as soundtrack. The Lucky finale just turned the Marvel Cinematic Universe upside down and it may never be the same. The secret timeline the Time Variance Authority swore to protect has been compromised and the show ended with over 60 alternate realities starting to branch off from the main one fans have followed since the MCU began. A visible shaking Loki was horrified to find he landed in some alternate TVA that's likely in a completely different universe, one that may not be overseen by a benevolent ruler. The season finale of Marvel's latest MCU TV series, which premiered a few weeks ago, featured a dynamic film score. Pat Thomas' song made a soundtrack playlist and is taking off his second album, Pat Thomas Introduces Marie Jatta, back in 1976. Loki is an American television series created by Michael Wardron for the streaming service Disney Plus based on Marvel's comics featuring the character of the same name. And that's all for entertainment highlights of Breakfast Daily. My name is Kwame Dazi.